Thanks very much. Just how serious is this North Korean uh, threat? How capable uh, is the United States of defending itself out on the West Coast in Alaska and Hawaii as well? Joining us now is the nuclear weapons expert, Joe Serencioni. He's president of the Pliers Fund, a real expert on this subject. I couldn't help but notice, Joe, your tweet earlier in the day when we heard that Hegel was making this announcement. You, you tweeted this. He, you said, this move stuns me. U.S. putting in more interceptors that don't work against the North Korea threat that doesn't exist. All right, explain your skepticism here. The National Academy of Sciences came out with a study last year. It was briefed to the Congress that said basically the existing missile, the ground-based interceptor system, is deeply flawed, is technologically troubled. They recommended a brand new interceptor, brand new radars, a brand new site. And here's the, the, the administration doing what many members of Congress wanted to do, pouring new money, a billion dollars, into the same old uh, interceptors. To their credit, they are trying to fix it. They're trying to develop a new kill vehicle. It, that kill vehicle won't be tested until late fall of this year. So that's part of the reason you're seeing the delay. A billion dollars, we don't have that kind of money lying around anymore. It would be justified if the North Korean threat were that serious. I just don't believe it is. North Korea is still years away from the ability to field a missile with a nuclear warhead that could hit the United States. Well, you just heard Chris Lawrence report they don't think this new missile defense system would be in place till 2017. Would the North Koreans have a, a, a missile capability with a nuclear warhead ready for use against potentially the United States by 2017? H highly unlikely. They've been making fits and starts in, this, in their missile technology. They've tried three times to launch a long-range missile. They just succeeded for the first time. They would need, need to do at least two more tests. And here's the really good news. If they actually were to threaten the United States, we would see them assembling this. It takes them days to put this up on the launch pad. We could intercept it on the ground. That is my best kind of missile defense. Pre intercept. The other really good news coming out of the Pentagon today was kind of buried, but it's the cancellation of the phase four system for the European missile defense. They decided they didn't need this, that the Iranian threat was not developing quickly enough. This is a big deal because it potentially unlocks a deal with Russia, who's been complaining about this part of the system. We may be able to now get a nuclear arms reduction uh, agreement with Russia because of what the Pentagon did today. You heard the president earlier this week. He gave an interview to uh, ABC News' George Stephanopoulos, in which he made it clear he's deeply concerned about this North Korean threat, takes it very seriously, and says the United States has to worry about it uh, because of uh, the margin of error, if you will, uh, that uh, we don't know exactly what North Korea is up to. Well, the American public is very worried about this. The way I look at this announcement and the kinds of statements you've heard from the president and the secretary of defense and the uh, top officials is that they want to reassure the public that they're doing everything they can. This missile defense system, I have to tell you, has got so many technological problems with it that it's doubtful it would ever work it certainly won't work if the North Koreans don't cooperate. That is, if they do something other than a simple threat, the system is designed to intercept a simple threat, if they launch a missile with decoys, pieces of wire, chaff, jammers, balloons, then the missile interceptor can't see the target and the whole thing fails. But it's the job of the Pentagon and the president to reassure the public that's what they attempted to do today. Well, very quickly, uh, the reassure the public is one thing, but are you saying U.S. taxpayers are throwing away a billion dollars for a system that doesn't work? We spend $10 billion a year on missile defense. We spend about $250 billion over the last few decades. We still don't are anywhere close to a system that can actually protect the United States from a determined uh, adversary. Yes, I'm saying we're wasting our money. We do have a defense that works. It's called deterrence. If the North Koreans or anybody else were to dare attack us with a nuclear missile, it would be the last thing that regime ever did. They would be wiped off the face of the earth. Joe Serencioni, uh, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you, Wolf. Up next, the CNN exclusive.